Welcome, everybody, to the first full week of March. It is Monday, March 4th. I'm John Zadar, and this is On Top and Hot. Now, what I like to do on this show is just share my own personal due diligence with you on a hot penny stock. I am a day trader from bell to bell. I am looking for stocks under five bucks that I can find on any market, the OTC or the major exchange. There is no lack of penny stocks, but what I'm looking for is a hot penny stock, a stock that has potential to make us some money. Now, I can find this heat in a lot of different places. If I've got the time and the energy, I can go through filings and press releases doing all that reading. If I'm short on time, I can go over to the charts. You can see a lot of charts in a little amount of time, and at a glance, you can see if there's heat in a chart. And sometimes I get them from our viewers, and that's where we got this one from. This is Toner One World Holdings, ticker T-O-N-R. I have actually been talking about this stock every week for seven weeks, yet I haven't made a video about it. You see, I've got a live streaming event, right? Thursdays, every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Well, over the last seven weeks, inevitably, somebody requests me to take a look at Toner. So we have been looking at it every week. I think I need to share it with all of you because they've got a lot going on right now. We have known Toner for working with NFTs, cryptocurrency, IP licensing, fintech, and I do believe they still are. I haven't seen anything to say they aren't. What I do see is the last few months, they're only talking about one thing, their new AI products. They are launching them hard and fast, and it looks like a first mover advantage, and I think it is going to be a super hot product. So I want to share this with all of you. Toner finished the day at 0008 even money. We'll have to see what the chart says about that. She's on the pink tier. She's current. She's got those two green ticks we're always talking about. That's validated information, folks. It's the only validated information you normally get with the pink. So that's why I make such a big deal about it. They tell us she's a shell risk. It's in yellow. That's not a good thing. Shell risk means that the company claims they're in business, but they're not showing us any revenues. That's never a good thing. So what is Toner doing now? You'll just have to wait till we get to the news. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Oh man, what a drop. She went from 151 million shares on an average for the last 30 days down to just over 40 million today. That does surprise me. Share structure for Toner. Ooh, way too many shares. Outstanding share count is just a little over 7 billion. The insiders own 23 million of those, which means we basically have 7 billion shares in the float. Now, yes, it's bad because you don't get much shareholder value there. But if you're not an investor and you're a day trader looking for a run, now the problem is you got to move a lot of shares to get the stock to run. But if you get stuck holding this stock, I would be leery of a reverse split. We've seen a lot of these penny stocks, once they get close to a penny, they do a reverse split out of nowhere. So that's what I would be leery about here. Market cap for the company, we are currently at 5.6 million. Financials for Toner. <laughs> this is deja vu, I swear to God. Honestly, I have looked at this company every single week and I feel like I just haven't left these pages. We have nothing on the annual revenues. We have nothing on the quarterly revenues. And we basically have nothing on the balance sheet. We have nothing in the bank. We have zero assets. And this is where it gets real weird. Total liabilities, 10.8 million. The last quarter and the quarter before, the exact same number. Drop down here for stockholder equity. Well, the quarter before, of course you would expect 10.8 million deficit. What happened here? What kind of newfangled math did they use to take that exact same number and tell us it's now equity? So I'm not paying any mind to this. What I see is they have no revenues at all. They're not making any money. They haven't got any money in the bank. They haven't got any assets. It looks like a shell company to me. I don't see anything going on over here. So rather than being a shell risk, it should be a shell company. But hopefully the news is going to change all of that. Taking a look at the disclosures for the company. 
We've got an 8K here. Can't remember what this is about, so let's just jump into it and see. Oh, right, right, right. I've got this in the news. So we are going to jump into the news to get that piece of information. So looking at our news, I've got three pieces of news to share with you, but there is more news. I remember. I've been looking at this every single week, and there was a lot more news down here. It's just being chiseled away as time goes on. Here's the deal. Not too long ago, maybe it was November, Toner came out with a trading assistant called Maddie. Now, I am guessing Maddie was either just a voice or chat. I honestly don't know. But she didn't have an image as far as I can tell. And this was to help us. It was an AI trading assistant. Now, I don't know exactly what her duties were supposed to be, but you got to remember this was in the infancy stage. They were just launching it out. Then we get a piece of news here. Toner One World Whole Needs chooses Soul Machines as the virtual human technology partner for Maddie. It's virtual trading assistant for MetaTrader. Now they've given her a face, a human face. I mean, she looks real. Now, I honestly, I haven't seen her, but I've seen a lot of AI videos. I've seen a lot of AI deep fakes, which are real people that have been duplicated. I can't tell the difference, except that they look too crisp. I mean, really, really crisp. Well, that's what they've got now. You have your AI trading assistant who has an image and is talking to you. Now, I don't know what she can do, but here's the thing about AI. AI trains itself. You don't have to train it. It is out there learning every single day. AI grows up so fast. The first three days, it's on the bottle. Then you're sending it off to school the next three days. By day 12, it's graduating college. And by a month later, it's an adult making money. AI is moving fast, folks. Then in February, Toner One World Holdings unveils groundbreaking expanded capabilities for virtual human project. Now, I do want to dive into this because there's more information here than they told you. Toner One World Holdings is proud to announce the expansion of its groundbreaking project, Maddie. That's what they call her. To include an array of new capabilities designed to revolutionize everyday tasks for users. Originally conceived as a virtual trading assistant for users of MetaTrader 5 trading platform, TD Ameritrade, and Schwab, I had no idea. I use TD Ameritrade and Schwab. Maddie has now evolved into a multifunctional virtual human equipped to complete a series of everyday tasks with unprecedented efficiency and convenience. The company is currently beta testing its latest development project, a cutting-edge technology that enables Maddie to seamlessly navigate through various tasks, including placing orders on Amazon, ordering food from Uber Eats and DoorDash, and even managing orders from local grocery stores. Now, contrary to what you might think, yes, they are going to be making more money this way, but that's not the real reason they're doing it. They're doing it to train Maddie. She needs exposure. She needs to get out there. The more she can learn, the faster she can grow. They tell us here that the premise behind expanding Maddie's capabilities is to further develop her AI and machine learning capabilities. As we continue to expand Maddie's reach into retail sector, people will be able to use Maddie to order a pizza, set up a FedEx delivery, and much more. One of the most compelling factors from a shareholder value standpoint is that all of the retail partnerships that use Maddie's technology will generate revenue for the company through order commissions and profit sharing. It's a win-win situation all the way around. But we have got even bigger news in here that they didn't put in the headlines. The company is involved with some acquisitions right now. Yes, you heard me right. Acquisitions, more than one. We are thrilled to announce that we have narrowed down our potential merger candidates to a second AI company. This high-performing company boasts an impressive track record, generating over $37 million in revenue with an outstanding 30% net profit margin. $37 million. The company's already earned that. So if they can acquire this company, boom, they've got instant revenues. That's going to change everything about this company. This potential partnership promises to be an ideal match for the first AI company we currently are in discussions with. 
The potential quick completion of these two mergers will greatly benefit projects like Maddie, solidifying our position as a key player in the AI sector. So they have got two more AI companies coming on board. I don't know how many they got, but they've obviously got at least one to make Maddie. Now that they're bringing on two more. This is an AI company. They have their own AI making AI products. They are making this super Alexis. You know, it's not just play music for me and check my email. Now it's actually do real tasks for us. Then we've got one more piece of news over here. Toner One World announces live demo of TradeScore Extreme Trading Bot. Now, I don't know. Has Maddie evolved into a super trading bot now? Have they split her off into the task management and a trader? I have no idea if this is the same product or a new product. But they have got a showing of this on March 12th, 7 p.m. Just go to this link down here. It is a Zoom meeting and they're going to show you. They tell us right here that Toner One World Holdings announces the highly anticipated national Zoom presentation of the groundbreaking TradeScore Extreme Trading Robot. TradeScore Extreme Trading Robot is a revolutionary leap forward in algorithmic trading technology. The TradeScore Extreme Trading Robot is not just another trading tool. It's a paradigm shift in how traders approach the markets. Powered by cutting-edge machine learning technology, this innovative platform is set to redefine the landscape of algorithmic trading. You got to remember, folks, AI makes decisions. It doesn't just gather information. It doesn't just show you information. It makes decisions. You're going to be able to bounce off of her things you're thinking, and she can give you advice. We are thrilled to unveil the TradeScore Extreme Trading Robot and showcase its groundbreaking capabilities to traders nationwide. This virtual presentation offers a unique opportunity for traders to explore the latest advancements in machine learning technology and gain a competitive edge in their trading endeavors. Now, folks, I would highly recommend that you go here and watch this. Even if you're not going to buy the product, learn. Get this information into you. Get ahead of the game. This is one of the first ones on the market. Now, what you're going to see, a lot of these AI companies do have beta uh, stage testings going on right now. I have been playing around with a lot of AI companies that are offering their products for free right now because they need to get their AI out there to learn. They're just giving her exposure. So they're letting us use her for free. I've been doing a lot of artwork here recently and it's great. But once these AIs get trained and up and running and are full adults, all this beta is going to disappear and everything is going to have a price tag on it. So I would, if I were you, at least watch this for the knowledge that you can acquire. You know what I always say, not just at the end of the show, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. On that note, folks, let's go take a look at the chart. So let's rip into toner. This is ticker T-O-N-R, Toner One World Holdings, and we're going to rip into her on my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. So we are looking at a six-month, four-hour view. We've got a low bubble she hit here six months ago, and five months ago, and four, and three. <laughs> and then we got a high bubble here at the beginning of February of 0015. Now, I've got two strong SNRs on the board, supports and resistances. We've got one here at 0006 and one at 001. Now, as you can see, she's been bouncing off of the floor, the absolute cheapest price you can buy a stock for in the open market, 0001, for a long time. Looks like about five months here. She was bouncing from 0001 to 0002. Then here in November, I think we had a piece of news come out, had a burst of volume and a tier change. She went up one tier. She is now bouncing from 0002 to 0003. But don't make light of that. This was a big, strong, strategic move. All of this time, she was underneath that 200-day SMA. That move put her on top of the 200 securely, making this breakout possible. Now, I don't know why she ran this day. This is January 17th. I don't see any filings or news on that day. Nonetheless, she took off. She was deep underneath this strong uh, resistance here, 
cut through this channel, went all the way up to this high of 0015, came back down into the channel, bounced off of it a few times, and then had the bottom fall out, right back down to the floor, triple zero one. Though she wasn't there long, she came right back up to triple zero six. Folks, that's a 600% jump in a minute or two. Then over the next couple of days, she worked her way up to the top of the channel and then busted out again. Then she fell back into the channel and now she's calmed down. All this volatility ripping from the bottom way up high, dropping, popping, that got all of our SMAs in a frazzle. We need to get them calmed down. We need to get them combed and going in the right direction, which is what they're starting to do right now. And our 200-day SMA is climbing. We still have volume in the picture, though it has dwindled lightly now. And our osculators, not looking bad. We have recovery sitting on the table here. We have a imminent crossover, it sure looks like, right here on our PPO, percentage price osculator, which is just like your MACD, except this uses a percentage of the price. MACD uses the full price. MACD looks like we have a crossover happening right now. And there's our first green bar showing positive climb pressure. And our RSI is climbing ever so lightly through bounces. She currently is cool at 51. Take a look at our 20 day, one hour view. So there's our high of uh, 0014. She fell back into the channel, laid on our 200 day SMA and then dropped to the support here of 0006 and then had the bottom drop out of it. Now, a lot of people, when you see a stock come out of the triple zeros and start working its way into the double zeros, there is a possibility that you could have it fall back in and come right back out like that. So there are a lot of people who will put these hanging orders down here at triple zero two, triple zero three, not for a lot, $50, $100. And if it drops, ding, you got those shares cheap. And in two minutes, pow, she's right back up there. And you just made 600, 300% gains just by having an order sitting down there. So she came back up into the channel here, climbed back up to the top and then popped back out from one extreme to another. Now she's come back down and you can see she has just cooled her jets. She is sitting on the top of this support. Everything is cooling off, getting ready to do something. All of our SMAs came down and right now all of them, all of them are doing that, starting to turn up. Osculators on our one hour chart look good. They too say we have recovery happening right now. Everything is starting to turn up. I'm getting excited, can you tell? I like their products too. I like Maddie. I like this trading robot. I am gonna be there. I'm gonna get my knowledge and learn about it. So now we're down to a one minute. No, let's try that five day, five minute. Matter of fact, it's not gonna look a whole lot different. So let's go to the five day, 15 minute. Nope, I don't like it. <laughs> All right, there's a 10 day, 30 minute. You can see she bounced off of this low of triple zero one. We are on the 30 minute. She came up, worked her way up and popped and slowly, very slowly over many days, she worked her way back down to this bottom of this channel and she has been bouncing off of it. Now here she was laying completely on it. Now, every now and then she's laying down a peg leg, but she's staying up as much as she's staying down, if not more. That's a sign that she's getting lighter, that she could start climbing. And our oscillators on our, our 30 minute chart are looking pretty good. They are all climbing. Now, for those of you who want to know, we'll look at the five day, five minute oscillators. PPO is climbing, MACD is climbing, lots of green bars. RSI is just about hitting 55, which is as cool as I like to see it. Folks, I think Toner is gonna to be a leader in the AI industry for what they do. I don't see a lot of trading assistance for you and I. I see a lot of algorithmic traders out there for corporations, enterprises, and these are who we're trading against. If you think you're trading against people on the major exchanges, guess again, folks. Sooner or later, we're all going to have to have some sort of AI assistant, algorithmic assistant helping us, or we're just going to be out of the game because they make decisions. They can see a lot more data than we can. I am excited about Toner. I can't wait to see where she is going. 
Ticker T-O-N-R deserves some more research, folks. See if they're still into NFTs, if they're into fintech. They may be doing things on that front too, but my biggest excitement are those mergers. The products are exciting, but the mergers are going to bring in revenues. $37 million with their second candidate. Get that one in there first and let's get some revenues. Ticker T-O-N-R. I'm liking it. You should too. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.